Then Mario Galaxy adapted to work without the Wiimote as expected, and no Galaxy 2. Kinda weird, but hey, I'm happy this rumor turned out to be true, and when I saw that cover art at the end of the trailer, it gave me a warm feeling seeing these games all together in one bundle. For starters, this is $60. Mario 64 was released on the Virtual Console for $10 in 2006, and Super Mario Galaxy was available on the Wii U eShop for $19.99. Sunshine has never seen a re-release until now, so considering it's in the middle of the other two titles, I'll price the game at $15, totaling up to $44.99. But on top of that, it's a bundle, so it should be even cheaper, meaning the proper price, and honestly what I legitimately expected it to cost, would be $39.99. The Crash and Spyro remakes were $39.99, but the fact that it's a whole $20 more than those honestly just feels like a slap in the face, especially during a time where people don't have the most money. I realized they made a few more changes than I anticipated. They redid the sprite scene on the HUD to make them a higher resolution, and additionally tweaked a few textures to make them look just a bit nicer. And to be frank, I appreciate the extra touch-ups, but unfortunately I think these signify one of the many issues with how Nintendo treats their older titles. It honestly feels like Nintendo thinks they absolutely have to edit and redo assets of N64 and GameCube games. We can't have the textures look blurry, we gotta touch it up, but since we gotta touch it up, we gotta charge more money. We've now set a standard where we could never release these games to you in the same way we did years ago. The fact that they're treating this Mario 3D collection as such a huge deal really drove it home for me that we will never see Nintendo nonchalantly give us any of their legacy titles from the N64 or GameCube. But the fact that Galaxy 2 is missing says they really only wanted to put in the minimum possible effort to get what could be considered a $60 value. The fact that Sunshine is in widescreen, while 64 isn't, says to me, if it was too hard, they didn't bother.
It all comes back to just how pathetic what Nintendo offers you is. A couple years ago, they took down the most reputable ROM sites, aka the most accessible way to play their legacy content. But they didn't give us any legal method to play most of these games, instead just forcing people to fork out the ridiculous prices demanded by the secondary market. They are helping no one but resellers, as they continue to refuse to release their retro titles. <laughs> Odd choice, but at least Switch owners will always be able to purchase it off the eShop. But then I learned that the digital version of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, the only legal way Nintendo is offering you to play such important titles as Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Galaxy, will only be available to purchase until March 31st of next year.